Hi, I'm Debbie from Simply Special Crafts, and today we're going to take a look at the Hunky Dory Winter Warmers Collection, and we're going to look at card samples for all 10 sets from this collection. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's take a look at a bunch of cards. This is the Winter Warmer Collection from Hunky Dory Crafts. As you can see, Hunky Dory says we're going to make at least 20 cards. I don't know what our final card count was, but I do know that we made at least twice that many. We This set includes 10 foiled and die-cut topper sheets, 10 coordinating card stocks, and 10 coordinating card stocks with foil. So you get a total of 30 pieces in this collection. As usual, I want to go ahead and show you some of the Teddy's putting in his two cents worth. Uh, I want to show you a few of the other materials that we used. Um, here's the luxury inserts for this set. I highly recommend having inserts available because they just create such a beautiful finishing touch to your cards. And by putting an insert in it that completely matches your card, it just really tops off the charm. So they're an inexpensive way to just really add something to your cards. This insert set contains a total of 20 sheets, so you have two inserts per topper set. I used gold Mary board. I, that's the only color Mary I used in this one, and I believe this entire set is gold foil. So uh, it's a good idea to have a good supply of Mary board handy when you're working on this. This happens to be 8x8, but we have Mary board available in all kinds of sizes. I used three different shimmer papers in this one. You've seen me using a lot of these shimmer papers because they are really a nice accent to the um, to the hunky dory papers. That slight pearlescent, kind of sparkly, but not quite glitter finish is really really pretty with these. And these colors are uh, this is Jupiter. This is Emerald and this is Mars and I'll put links to those in our newsletter. In addition to our traditional uh, European A6 which is roughly 4 by 6 inches and our 5 by 7 cards I also used a DL card which is the 4 by 8 inch cards. I used a hunky dory or excuse me a hot off the press center step card and for the first time ever actually in one of our videos I used this Paper Mania 6x6 stepper card. I want to show you how this looks. It actually is 18 inches long and it folds out and the idea behind this stepper card is that you create a card that literally has a step in the front of it not unlike our center stepper cards and our side stepper cards except that the step is in the front of this one. If you want this step to stand up taller, just crease it. I didn't take the time to stop and crease this one. When I used this, I thought this step was a little too high for the card I was making, so I cut this flap off, this flap, this flap off the front. I scored it in the middle and I made myself a one and a half inch step instead of the three inch step that they used here. I'll show you the sample and that'll make more sense. So. So I used that card in this collection. I also used a few cutting dies. Cutting dies can make all the difference in creating a really, really fun effect. The one I used the most is this Christmas greeting set. It's called the, um, this is from Amy Design. It's a Christmas card set. And the number of this one is ADD10066. I love this set because in this set, not only do you get two outside frames that can create some beautiful layering effects, you get this really highly detailed frame. And then you get this piece of holly, this holly with with leaves coming out, a little curly cue at the end. You get a curly cue coming out this way and this way. You get a number of berries dies. I don't think all of my berries are in here, but I believe you get three sets of berries. This entire car, um, collection is $12.95, guys. That is a phenomenal value 
for this die set, and I think you're going to agree when you see how this has been used. That that's, it's just a wonderful, versatile set for just a bargain price. And speaking of bargain prices, I have these two die sets that I have used in this collection. I have this wonderful Merry Christmas die set. You get box letters and the, you can actually use the cutout letters as well. In fact, I use the cutout letters as often as I use the boxes. This die was originally $20 based because I got a special purchase on these from Memory Box. I'm going to offer this die set at a Black Friday sale price of five bucks. $20 die, five dollars. And this one, which is a Richard Garrery die set, is actually a clock. It's a beautiful, wonderful clock with two clock hands. Wait till you see what I've done this with this one. This die is also a value somewhere around eighteen to twenty dollars. Five bucks in our in our um, Black Friday specials. If you're watching this video down the road, these may very well be sold out. Sorry, don't bother to write to me and say, can you get more? These are a one-time purchase. So if we have them, they'll be linked in our newsletter. When they're gone, they're gone. And I'm putting an extra special price on this set for you for our um, for this video. This is the Christmas sentiment set from Tattered Lace. You get a gigantic number of dies in here with all kinds of wonderful Christmas sentiments. And you're going to see this used over and over and over again in our videos. This set was originally priced at $59. And I'm offering this as a special price for this video for as long as they last or until the sale's over at $34.95. So... I used lots of dice on these. As we go through, I think you're going to agree that these are, it's well worth it to add some additional dice to your collections. And um, if you have your own dice at home, take a look at them. You may be able to do comparable things with dice that you have in your collection. But if you want these, I'll link them in our newsletter. If you're not currently signed up for our newsletter, there's a link down in the comments section. Be sure to do that because you could be one of the first to know about new videos and any specials that I'm offering in coordination with that video by linking to our newsletter. And the final thing that I used in it, I used a few of these ribbons from the classic Christmas ribbon set. This is a really nice ribbon collection. Lots and lots of different pieces and this one is $5.99, so again, a great deal. Let's get started on taking a look at these cards. Our first set we're going to look at is our oops, is a poinsettia set. It is called Festive Florals. And this set, uh, this was one of my favorites out of the collection. I actually made six cards using this, this collection. Take a look as we go through our, our uh, presentation here to see if you can see where the six are going to come from. We have these beautiful toppers, some multi-piece frames here. We've got this beautiful corner treatment, gorgeous. And you have this beautiful border. Let's take a look at the cards we made from this. I have all of these. First, here's that corner. I have taken that and I have, how did I cut that? I cut that from here. <laughs> Sometimes I have to figure out what I did. I cut that from this corner. This is a 5 by 7 card before I attached this cardstock piece to my 5 by 7 blank card. I wrapped a piece of green organza ribbon out of that classic Christmas set and I tied myself a looks like a triple bow using my um, embellishment attic bow maker. I attached my tag and then I put this whole thing on a 5 by 7 blank card. And then I went in with some of my stickles. I forgot to add those in the supply list. But I went in with stickles 
and I added some nice touches of glitter to that. Can you see the glitter, honey? Yep. And Bryce is our cameraman today. Say hi, Bryce. Hello. Okay. So that's, I think that's just charming. That's a beautiful card. Next up, I used that emerald shimmer paper on my background. <laughs> I thought for a minute I made it backwards. I used the emerald shimmer on the background. This is a 4x6 card or that European A6. I covered my background. I broke a three-piece topper set into the three pieces. I put this outside ring on foam squares. I glued the center ring flush to my card. I put my center topper up on some foam squares. And then I added some embellishments from that die set that I told you about. Notice the way that you can take this die apart in pieces. See here? This whole, you've got this whole big piece. Well, I actually disassembled it. I used the three pieces here. I put three red jewel dazzles in the center of that to represent berries. I thought that was just a really nice touch with this. And I used two of those pull-off pieces that I had disassembled from this holly piece and just tucked them out from the bottom of my card. And isn't that pretty? Add a few stickles, and I think this card turned out gorgeous. Oh, and I also added this greetings here. This word greetings comes from that 2014 Tattered Lace die set. Gorgeous. Next up, this is a piece of my red background off the poinsettia border. It came from up here. I used my topper, put it up on some foam squares, added the little half of uh, Very Merry Christmas on some foam squares, brought some of those little curlies off of that die. This one's been cut in the, in the emerald shimmer paper and just brought them out from underneath and above. And I just think that's as pretty as it can be. Add a few stickles for added glitter effects and that is a beautiful poinsettia. Here's the border piece. I took the entire border, it actually was from here, I took the border off, I added a border off of my um, punch out sheet, I put this one up on some foam squares, that's all it needed guys, it's just gorgeous, it's beautiful, a few little stickles and it's as pretty as it can be. And here's another one. As you know, one of the beauties of using those European A6 cards is that one sheet of your adorable scoreable equals four of these cards. So I could take another one from right here. Did exactly the same thing. I used another border piece, added my season's greetings, stickled that up a little bit, and it's just glorious. It's beautiful. Just didn't need any more than that. And here, finally, is one more. Here's this topper that said, May the blessings of Christmas be with you all through the year. I thought that was just too pretty to just stick on the inside of a card. So, in that I had used up a lot of my other pieces, I did was able to use a piece of this in a 5 by 7 background. But I took those frames from that die set. I used my outside frame here. I cut that out of gold mirror board. I cut my inside, like my second size frame out of that emerald. I took that holly piece. I broke it into pieces. Ran my holly and the two little swirls off the bottom. I ran the coils and the leaves off the top, added some red jewel dazzles just to make that, that extra sparkly, added a few stickles just for fun, and that I think that card also is beautiful. So we got a total of six cards from one topper set that Hunky Dory said we'd get at least two. That was really fun. Next up. 
here's the Christmas trees. This was another of my favorite to do. I always love doing Christmas tree cards because you get to decorate the trees. <laughs> this one's called The Gift of Christmas. It's got three beautiful size topper pieces and these nice tags and greetings. You've got this. I thought this was really fun to work with. You've got these gifts all the way across the bottom of the foiled cardstock. You got this pretty tree featured on the second, and this is really nice universal cardstock. So let's see what we did with those. Here is, let's see, yeah, here is this tree right here, and I took a throwaway piece. Didn't I? Or did I get that? Um, oh, I took a piece of this border off the bottom of the packages. I cut that border strip off right along the gold and kept the gold line on the border I was cutting off. And see how pretty that is. I covered my 5x7 card with gold mirror board. I put down my topper. I used this extra piece here just to give it a little added flair. I ran before I put my card stuck down. I ran two pieces of red organza ribbon around the corner of here. I kind of wanted to represent the idea of a gift box since gift boxes were featured so prominently in this set. I added my May the Spirit or May Your Christmas Sparkle up on some foam squares, kind of overlapped my border a little bit and into my card. And then I decorated that tree and put some snowy effects in the sky and I just thought that was beautiful. When I say I decorated my tree, in the background here I used the cooler um, shade of stickles. In the foreground on the tree I used those diamond stickles with the warm highlights to represent lights. And I thought that was really pretty. Next up we have this one. Okay, this is where I've used this, some of this background. I didn't cut that border off all the way. You see that? I used part of that border on this one. And I covered a 5x7 card. I did use a piece. Did I? Oh, I see what I've done. <laughs> Never mind. I actually, this is, this is the piece that was cut off. Okay. But I, I used a piece of material from over here to put back on a, a border on the bottom here. Because I wanted this one to read Mary. And this is done with those block letters. These are the cutouts from the block letters. I did Mary and then I brought Christmas down here and those letters that were part of the cutout from that block set. Remember what I'm talking about there on these letters? These centers, where they punch out, become these letters. Okay, so I've used a piece of my mirror board from the, from here. Remember, I cut this border off, but I then put another trim piece down below it so I could make a five by seven card and get that pretty border back on the bottom. I used this tag up on some foam squares. I use this little Christmas tree tag off to the side. It's got foam scores under it, and I'm layering it right on top of my other tag. So I didn't have to put foam squares under here. If I had put foam squares on this corner, I would have wanted to double these foam squares here. I've got some of my holly tucking out from underneath. Really pretty. Next up. Here's a piece from here, and I have taken that two-piece frame set off of my topper sheet. I've glued this one flush down to my background. I have put this one up on some foam squares. I used some stickles on my star, on the tree itself, a little bit of snow in the air, and that's all it needed. This is on a and a European A6 card. And finally from this set I used another piece of this border. Remember I cut that bottom off. I used another piece from here 
And what I like what I did here. This was kind of fun. Normally, you know that I, in a two-piece border, I might glue this one down flush and raise the top. But in this time, in this case, I decided to raise the outside border and put the put the image in flush. And what that ends up looking like is either a window or maybe a painting where the canvas is actually recessed and the frame is in the foreground. It's really pretty. I never done that before and I'll do it again because I really like the effect of this. I don't know how much of that you can see on camera where it's two dimensional, but you get a really interesting when you look at it you it, it it captures your attention because the image is recessed i decorated my tree used my marion bright sticker up here this is just um, glued onto my outside frame um marion bright christmas uh, wishing you a marion bright christmas and new year it just turned out beautiful that's it for that set next setup is joyous noel and this one's a lot of fun. This is actually a 3D kind of card. And um, this is somewhat like the Deco Large sets in that you have this, this sheet of prints to punch out and layer up on the base piece. However, you also get this piece of cardstock and you get another Noel border here on the... On the um, the foiled cardstock, that's what I'm trying to say, on the foiled cardstock. And naturally, you can take those pieces then and layer them on a variety of cards, which is exactly what my friends Lisa and Kate did in the construction of these. I was working on my cards. They didn't have something to do, so I threw them a stack, and they worked on these. And they made some beautiful cards here. So let's take a look at what Kate and Lisa created. Here's that base sheet. And you can see that they have three layers on the green stocking, two layers on the red, two layers on this one. So we definitely met that objective of having multiple layers. And here they have taken this and put this on a piece of border paper. Let's see which one they use. They use this border here, I believe. I used one of these borders. Oh, I see. They actually took it from right here. See that? They actually trimmed both sides down just a bit in order to get a, it really would have been from up here, to get a piece right out of the middle of that with um, design on both sides. Then layered up that topper, put it in the middle and just for fun in order to have this side kind of match this side with the red Christmas balls hanging down. They used some jewel dazzles on that side. We put little stickles on there and just kind of followed the highlights of these Noel letters with the jewel, with the stickles. And I think that looks terrific. A little piece of spare paper that was hanging in there. But that looks great. I thought they did a great job on that one. That's cute. Next up, we have this one. Which they have done from one of their lar one of their larger topper pieces, and then they've layered up on that. So they added an extra stocking to each, and they put this one on a border piece coming from here, where they've trimmed down one of these side borders a bit. So they have like an inch of border at the top. I love the way they added the jewel dazzles to the centers of these snowflakes. That really adds a lot to this card. I think that's really cute. Our little Merry Christmas comes from our 2014 word set. And finally, we have this one that they've done once again out of this corner. They've put it on a 5x7 card. They have added some additional layering pieces to this. Um, we have two layers on each of the stockings. When you add the, the tops of the stockings, we have three layers on each piece. Um, once again, we took stickles and highlighted these letters, and they added three little dots to that corner, three little dots to this corner, just to kind of give them elements in those open spaces. They used one of their borders and came across this way and put their warmest wishes there. I think that's very, very cute, very effective card. Three cards from that set. Next up, we've got a trip to the toy store. 
Got three nice big toppers here, a variety of smaller toppers, greetings, a nice border piece here. Look at this beautiful foil border, I think this is amazing. We've got our Christmas trees and stars in foil on both sides of this cardstock. And then this one has this interesting swag across the top and a solid across the bottom. Let's see what we did with these. One, two, three, four, five fun cards from this set. Let's look at the three traditionals first, and I'm going to show you what we did with some of those little ones. Okay, here's the first one. We've taken a piece from here, from right here. But you can see we cut off an inch. This border was two inches wide, or maybe a little over that. We split that piece in half anyway, and we brought half of it over to the other side of the cardstock so that we have this really nice balanced background sheet. We took the three-piece topper set, put the outside ring up on some foam squares, we glued the center ring down flush, and we put the inside up on some foam squares, used especially for you down here on the bottom, and tied a pretty little organza ribbon up on the top corner there. And I think that's really cute. So that's one. Next, here's those layering pieces again. This time I've used all three out of the set. I talked to you about how we could layer these outside pieces and layer this detailed image. Look how cute that looks, guys, when you put those on the shimmer paper. The emerald, I think this is Mars, and then the emerald again. I just put my topper right in the center of that. This cardstock comes from here. Well, actually from one of these we were able... Oh, right here. Yeah, I wasn't really enamored with this border at the top. I found it a little bit difficult to work with because anything that I put up there kind of hung down behind the images, so I didn't use a great deal of that. I just cut the card. I did cut my 7-inch card down a little bit, so I didn't have pieces of this border in my image. And then I just added my Christmas wishes here, which seemed like a particularly appropriate greeting for children at a toy store counter. <laughs> I like that card a lot. I think that's really cute. Next up, we have this one, which is also done using a piece of our side border. Took it from here. Oops, Teddy's helping with the camera, guys. He's wandering down by my feet, wrapping himself, himself and his leash around the tripod the camera's standing on. Okay, so here's my background piece. I have glued that, of course, to a 5x7 card. And we, I took that three-piece topper set apart again, put the outside on foam squares, glued the center ring down flush, put the inside on some foam squares, um, attached this above here and I put foam squares behind here and just rested this end of that greeting on my frame. Tied myself a little pretty organza bow out of that classic Christmas ribbons kit I told you about in the beginning and I think that's really adorable. Now that gave me three cards but you know me I have to try and see if I can use all my pieces in some ways and here we go. I had this really cute little boy just, you know, just gazing up at all those toys in the toy shop window, and it was just too cute not to use it. So I cut that clock face out. I added that tiny topper to the inside. I covered my um, my European A6 card, that roughly 4x6 card, in my gold mirror board. Then I put down my Mars shimmer paper. I added my clock. I added my topper to the center of that. And I said, wishing you joy. And then somehow it just needed the word hope here too. That little, that little kid at the toy shop counter. I thought that was adorable. And look what we did. We built an entire card around a one and maybe a quarter inch topper. How cute is that? 
but I still have another one. It has slightly larger topper of that jack-in-the-box. And again, it needed to be used, so I covered my my um, A6 card with gold mirror board. I cut myself out another one of the clocks. I added the jack-in-the-box to the center, added sending Christmas wishes off of my punch-out sheet, and I think that's as cute as can be. And I, again, I used two tiny toppers. So I ended up getting five cards in total from that set. Next we have a letter to Santa. We've got Santa reading his letters from the children with a beautiful smile on his face. And this wonderful big Santa image down here. I hope Santa brings you everything you wished for on this topper set. We've got this beautiful foiled cardstock. Isn't it gorgeous? It's kind of red damask pattern and then the pretty foiling up both sides. Nice borders. And here's Santa reading the letters once again. Let's see what we did with those. Okay, here we have that big topper. And I've taken this cardstock from this sheet right here. So I covered my 5x7 card. I believe this might be trimmed just a little bit to make those toppers look just right on that card. I actually took my, I think I told you once before that I really like the way it turned out when I, when I recessed that center image. So I put my, my frame up on foam squares, recessed the image, and have a, the center one there I'm glued flush to my card. Here I have, have a very Merry Christmas and warmest wishes. I think that's really pretty. That's just a charming scene. Santa in his green leather chair. Here he is again. Here's that one from the corner. Here. And somehow the I hope Santa brings you everything you wish for just looked perfect to me to go with that Santa in his chair reviewing things here. This is a 5x7 card. I've covered it with gold mirror board. I have cut down my topper then to be 45 by 6 and a half, and I wrapped a piece of the green ribbon with red snowflakes around that. This is out of the traditional Christmas. Okay, um, so um, again, I have wrapped my ribbon around the back and secured it before I glued this face down to my uh, mirror board that's covering my 5x7 card. I took that holly piece, I took it apart once again. I kept a little swirl on this side. Here's my three holly leaves. I brought the little, the little curlies out, excuse me, from the bottom and then this foliage and the little twirly coming up the side. And I took a piece of a snowflake and put over here. You could really put almost anything you wanted here, but I felt like it just kind of wanted something in that corner, so I stuck a piece of a snowflake over there. But I think that's really pretty and very effective. Next up, one more card from this set. This time I took this piece over here. And I took the Seasons Greetings banner off my topper sheet and I ran it right up the white because I thought that helped break up that stark white border. And I thought it looked really pretty balancing that against the red of the, of the background piece. So I've covered my 5x7 card with Gold Mary. I cut this one to four and a half by six and a half inches, leaving myself some nice white borders around it. I placed my Santa topper frame down flat to my card. I put my Santa topper, the, the center, up on some foam squares. I added foam squares to the back of this all the best tag right here along my frame. Just let this piece rest right on the Santa image. And I brought those foliage pieces out from under there and up back under the 
under the, the topper and over the topper. And then I just let the cardstock do the rest of the work with that Seasons Greetings banner on the side. But I think this one's really, really striking. Very pretty. Three cards from that set. This set's called On the First Day of Christmas, and of course it's the images to accompany the song. We've got the partridge in a pear tree, we've got To My Love, Five Rings, we've got a border with the 12 days, and then we have this great big giant topper. And I know that you guys don't particularly like to do seven and eight inch cards. That just doesn't seem to be something that this group um, is real excited about. So this left me with a real challenge because that is such a very big topper. So I thought, what, do, what can I do with that that will keep the size of this card a little bit smaller and still retain that really pretty frame? So what I did is I took this card I told you about in the beginning, the Paper Mania. These are called uh, Stepper Card Blanks. This is a 6x6 six six card with that extra stepper piece in the front. And I built this card. Now, as I indicated earlier, these card blanks have a 3-inch step in front of a 6-inch card. So you can either use them this way with the stepper in front, and up, or you can use them this way, sideways, open it up into a, a larger greeting, and then open the front of the card. This would be a lot of fun to work with, too. i got to play with that a little, because I can see this being a lot of fun to use. But in this case, I was making this card, but this 3-inch pan was just too high. It covered too much of my image. So I trimmed one piece off of here, and then I re-scored this halfway down and folded that down further to get a lower step in the front. And I created a clock out of the 12 days of Christmas. I used the clock hands off my clock die, and I like the fact that these all had the numbers around them, so it kind of felt a little bit like a clock to begin with. I put my two outer frames solidly against the, the face of my card. I put this piece up on some foam squares. I added the clock hands. I used a piece of my I used a piece of my border from here. I just thought that was really pretty. I happen to have turned it upside down, but you can see what I did there. I used this piece. <laughs> there we go. I used this piece right here on the front and added my season's greeting label and I think that's as pretty as they come. I think that's really really pretty and it keeps it all on a six inch card which I thought was nice. So I hope you like that one. It's something a little different for you today. Next up once again used this on a five by seven card. You can see that I trimmed a little bit off the lower border there I raised my emblem from the center. Oh, and let me tell you what I did here, because this is different too. Nothing I did, I really liked working with this corner. I mean, I could cut this out, and I thought about this would be another way to handle that, cutting this corner off, trimming this, and sliding that corner in behind, so I kind of had two red pieces. I thought about doing that, and that probably would have looked okay. But what I finally ended up doing was just cutting it out, creating a round topper out of that piece. I used my border off my border sheet. Again, I trimmed this down a little bit. I used two of my hollies, and this says the 12 days of Christmas on it. And I think that turned out to be a really pretty card from what I found to be kind of a challenging topper. And finally, I made this little card, and I think this is really pretty, using yet another border of this. I really like that viney border, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> this is a 4x6 card, or my European A6, 
and I used another piece of that sending festive wishes. I had just enough for this if I covered my card in gold cardstock so that I had a little bit less span to cover here. And I used a little smaller topper. Then put that border here, put my wishing you love. Now this wishing you love, these are, all three of these words are off my 2014 sentiments. So I use those little words a lot, guys. And there we go. There's our third card in that set. Okay, this one's called the Angel of Peace. And I have to admit, when I first looked at this topper set, it just isn't really my style. It's kind of a folk art, sort of an angel. I did like the sentiments. I like the peace. I like the fact that it's got the, the dove with the olive branch in his mouth. I like the fact that this little dove topper here has the olive branch in its mouth. I love the sentiment, may your heart be filled with love, joy, and peace this Christmas. And this angel is pretty, again, just not really my style, until I actually put them together. And then I decided I like them a lot. <laughs> Here's that angel again. She's got a little bit of foiling on her and a few foil stars around her. And here's our final piece. And I think this is actually quite pretty, this um, kind of scallopy edge with the vines and the, and the berries. You can hear Teddy kind of scratching on her chairs here. Sorry, but that's what happens when you film a video with a puppy. I thought you'd appreciate knowing that's the noise in the background. You guys seem to be pretty entertained by Teddy and his antics. I got four cards from this set. Let me show you what we did. I'll start with this one, which is the largest one. I used that border, and if you look really, really carefully at this one, you can see that I came here with it. I trimmed just, I, I cut it off back here, so I actually used, like, I don't know, I, d I don't know what my measurements are. But I used this much from here to here of my cardstock. Then I cut a piece here to make a matching border. And you can't really see it, but maybe if I get in there. Can you see that, huh? Can you find the, that nope. seam? There's actually a seam right here, but nobody will know what's there. If you have a nice straight cut and you're butting those two cuts up, up together, Boy, they're tough to spot. <laughs> but I created this background with the two borders because I like the upper and lower borders both on it. I took that three-piece topper set. I put the outside up on some foam squares. I glued the center frame down flush to my card. I put foam squares under my angel. I used uh, half, uh, our Hark the Herald Angel Sing tag here. Moved it slightly off to the side. Tied myself a light blue organza bow from my ribbon pack. And then what I think really sets this card off is the stickles that I used. I used that diamond stickles. And it's that real warm glow. And I just outlined her wings, the halo, and some little elements on her dress. And I think she's as pretty as she can be. That's a really, really pretty card. I like it a lot. <laughs> Next, I took the little dove from here, added it to a European A6 card. I added the word peace off of my tiny sentiments. I outlined my dove with some stickles. Before I attached my card to my background, I wrapped this with a piece of my green um, ribbon from my non-traditional Christmas colors pack. You can see this is a wide ribbon with red and white snowflakes. And then I put my May Your Heart Be Filled with Love, Joy, and Peace this Christmas on top, and I think that's beautiful. Very pretty. Next up, I used this topper on this card. I took a 5x7 card. I covered it in gold mirror board. I cut this piece to 65 by 45 I glued it down to my 
mirror board. I used my stickles on her halo, on her wings, on her dress, added Joyous Noel, and I just didn't think she needed more than that. I think she's quite pretty. I hope that camera picks up those glittery portions. Can you see that in the mm -hmm. camera, honey? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's our three cards. Oops, nope, there's four cards from this set. Here's a fourth. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, here's our fourth card. Okay, I used a piece of my blue sky, starry sky background. I put it on a 5x7 card. I covered it with gold Mary board. I took this three-piece frame set. I broke it into three pieces. I glued the outer section down to my card. I turned the center section 45 degrees and created kind of a diamond shape out of the center. And then I put my, my um, middle piece up on some foam squares and put that in the middle. I love the way this ends up kind of giving you a star shape. I used a piece of my holly. Um, in this case, I cut my berries from the Mars red cardstock. I filled the little opening in the berries with some stickles and I added the word peace and joy at Christmas all from my words pack. Isn't that pretty? Again, given the fact that I didn't enjoy this card kit when I started, I absolutely love the designs that we ended up with. So that was a lot of fun. One of my friends recently asked me, and I'm not sure which friend it was, if we had any toppers of fig pudding. And I said, you know, I don't recall having seen a fig pudding topper set. I'll be darned if there wasn't a fig pudding topper in this kit. That is fig pudding. Make me some figgy pudding <laughs> with the wine bottle, wine glass. I love this topper here. I mean... I just think that wine glass with a wine bottle and Christmas tree in the background, a little Christmas cracker in the front, it's very pretty. And there's one front and center featuring that figgy pudding. So whoever it was that asked me, here it is. I hope you're watching the video. There it is. That's what you were looking for. This one says, eat, drink, and be happy. The title of this set was Ink, Treat, Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. Here's the matching cardstock with the fig pudding, the wine bottle, and there's a Christmas cracker again in the front. And I love this cardstock. I, that, something about that print just does it for me. I think that's pretty. The first one that I did out of this set was using that wine bottle. To me, because of the long nature of that bottle, I thought this one was just particularly well suited to a 4 by 8 card. I cut this corner off of my cardstock. I trimmed a little of that vanilla color off the side so I got lots of that, lots of that plaid. Before I attached it down, I tied just a single bow in this um, green satin that's also from our non-traditional Christmas colors pack wrapped it around the corner of my card and anchored those in the back. And I just think that turned out really pretty. That is just striking. Striking and very classy. Next up, here's that frame set again, guys. I used this, this holly and these frames so many times in these cards. Here's the Mars red in the background. Then I actually cut this piece right out of the cardstock with that frame. See that? I actually just cut that out in my in my frame shape. You haven't seen me do that before. I liked it though. Five by seven card, gold mirror board. I've got the pretty frame piece. Um, I did use, let's see, I actually put it on a piece of frame from here. So I've cut this 
piece of cardstock here to four and a half by six and a half, maybe even six. I think that's a fairly short card. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. That could be a five by seven. Anyway, um, I used my holly here. I just used the curlies and the three hollies. I put my bring us some figgy pudding <laughs> tag in the center of my holly and just for you at Christmas and always across the bottom. I think that's a very striking card. But look at the effect we got from adding our die cuts to this card. I thought that was great. Next up we have this pretty topper from this corner I took a 5 by 7 card I covered it in gold mirror board I took then a 4 and 3 quarters is that right? 4 and 3 quarters? Yes I believe 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters inch piece of my emerald um, shimmer paper then I took a 4 and a half by six and a half inch piece of my Jupiter Red. I layered all of those up on my card. I added my topper. And then I used my holly in the corner with three red berries that are created by those red jewel dazzles. And I added my words. Wishing you peace and joy all come from that Christmas, that 2014 Christmas word set. So you're beginning to see how you can use those Christmas words to just create all kinds of Christmas messages. And I think that's really pretty. <laughs> One more. I put the fig pudding in central position on the center step card. I covered my center step card in my plaid. I used my border from here on my border side borders here. Sorry about the bump. That's Teddy again wrapping himself around the camera tripod. But I added my borders here. I added a small piece of that border crossing across the corner here. I added my topper on some foam squares. I added some foam squares behind this little wreath. I added some foam squares at the bottom here with ink, eat, drink, and be merry. And I added a little piece of my holly here. In this case, I took the Mars red holly and made the bear, or excuse me, the Mars red shimmer paper and made the berries. And then I added the Jupiter red behind those to make the berries kind of a dual color. I think that's really pretty. Four cards from that set. I had great fun working with this Robin set that's called Warmest Wishes. I did some really fun things with this one, guys. I had it used card design I have never used before, and I'm really excited to show you what we did with this and how it turned out. Got a couple nice borders, we've got two big toppers, and lots of little pieces. Here we have that beautiful Robin again. How pretty is she? That's gorgeous and pretty foiled piece on the side and then we have this interesting berry design with kind of soft feathery looking leaves and this really nice pattern in the center that's beautiful okay let's see what we did with it now i love this topper i think it's absolutely gorgeous but it's huge, huge. And I thought, how am I, once again, my goal is to try and keep these cards to the sizes you guys like to use. And so I looked at that, I thought I could easily make a seven or eight inch card out of that, but that's not going to be what you want to see. So what I did is I split this topper. I took these two pieces only, the center ring and the inside ring. And I made this beautiful card. I turned the ring just, again, like 45 degrees. 
so that it creates this fun wavy pattern around the outside and I glued it flush in, in both cases because I thought those were just beautiful together. I used a piece of cardstock from here on the bottom and then I cut out these are actually really distinct leaf patterns up here so I cut out a piece of my cardstock from here and I moved it down on the top. I added the warmest wishes tags. I did some nice work with stickles and glittering on those soft berries and leaves. Put a few snowflakes in the sky and I absolutely loved this card. That left me with this great big pretty frame that had not been used and it just didn't seem right somehow. It just needed to get used. <laughs> so I took another piece of my cardstock. I actually took this when it was when I was done and I still had a piece of cardstock left. I took that brown frame first and I cut it in four pieces. Then I turned the pieces instead of being outward. I turned them inside and I created this fun, interesting diamond pattern on my cardstock. So I just started by covering my card in the green cardstock and then gluing these bracketed pieces together pointed towards the inside. Teddy's complaining because we put him in his candle so he'd stop wrapping around the tripod. I added that pretty little robin to the inside. It still needed a little something so I cut a piece of border from here. I once again went along and just, it's easier than it sounds, I actually cut these leaves out along the edge and then I glittered them up following, I just kind of highlighted the leaves where I saw snow on them and highlighted just the portions of the berries where I saw snow added seasons greetings joy and winter or excuse me and with love this is a really fun card and it's made guys out of what would have been leftover pieces so that was great fun to do next up we had this pretty robin and we had this pretty card stuck here so I used this piece of card. I covered a 5 by 7 card stock. I added one of my greetings from here. One of my <coughs> banner, or my uh, border pieces, the Noel across the bottom. I added a piece of this across the top, or one inch down from the top. And I anchored my Merry Christmas to you on that. And it still looked like it could use a little something. So I took two of my holly pieces that have been featured in this in the featured die set. I cut a piece of holly with the two little curlies coming up from underneath the circle here and out from underneath the circle here. You can see I only used one curly on the holly. I took the other one off. And then I ran the little vines and curls along the bottom of my card. And I glittered that up with some stickles. And that's what we get. Shoot the camera over there so they can see that we're not beating the dog. That he is just complaining about being in his kennel. Teddy, what's your problem, buddy? What's your problem over there, Ted? You're just generally unhappy that Mama's not paying attention, aren't you? He said, now I'm going to be very quiet. Well, let's see if we can continue being quiet now that you've been acknowledged while you're being naughty. Okay, next up, we use the, the robin from the corner of our card. So pretty. 5 by 7 card. I cut, I, I cut a five by seven piece. I took the red satin ribbon and I wrapped the ribbon around the card. 
I added another piece of that Noel border right over the top of the red satin, and then I tied a single red satin bow using my bow maker, and I put on top of that. Then I used my Mayor Christmas Be Merry and Bright, along with some of my holly elements. I glittered that up on the corner with my stickles, and I think that is a very, very pretty card. One of the prettiest in this set, in my opinion. Okay, and finally, I had one of those cute little robins left. I covered a five by, or excuse me, a, a, a European A6 card in gold mirror board. I used my, or my uh, emerald shimmer paper. I cut that clock face. I added my little robin to the center, and I think it's really cute, even though it is so very simple. But it's cute. Five cards from that set. Our final topper set in this collection of winter warmers is called The Magic of Christmas. We've got two children awaiting Santa's arrival at the fireplace. And we've got nice size toppers here. We've got a pretty shot here in the corner of this cardstock. And we've got this pretty background card to work with. We're going to get five cards out of this set too. Let's show you what we did. Here's that same technique we used earlier. I'm using this piece of cardstock on a 5x7 card. I split that frame in three pieces. I turned the center frame 45 degrees to get this nice star pattern. And I put some foam squares under the center piece. Put some foam squares under wishing you uh, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year on my sentiment and I think that's really pretty. Next up, I did somewhat the same thing with this one because I had two of those three piece frame sets. I took this one and I did the same thing. I used the same cardstock in my background I used the center topper, turned it 45 degrees to get, this one was different because it had these little bubbles in each corner with a star in them, and I thought those were pretty, but this, somehow this just looked plain, these corners looked plain compared to those, so I put a red jewel dazzle in each one of these, and I like the way that that kind of accented together. This greeting says, may the magic of Christmas fill each corner of your home and heart. And I think that turned out really pretty. Very similar to the last one, but very pretty. Next up, I used that corner piece. I love the way this one came out. I used this corner piece. I covered a five a, a card with five by seven a five by seven card with gold mirror board. That's what I was trying to say. I made this four and a quarter or four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I cut out this corner topper. I wrapped ribbon around the red side of my topper and and anchored it to the back. I tied a little double satin bow out of the green non-traditional ribbons pack and anchored it there. And what I love about this is the way this turned out. I used my Christmas words to spell have and then a very Merry Christmas down here, but a very Merry Christmas kind of forms a Christmas tree and I thought that was so cool looking. I really, really think this card is fun. Next up, we have this one. I took a 4x6 card. I covered it with a remaining piece of, I think it actually, no, it didn't come from there. It must have come from, where did it come from? No, it did come from here. Actually, it came from right here. And it wasn't quite wide enough, so I took one of my, um, my ribbons off of my, or my borders, off my punch out sheet. And I made that just a little bit wider with that border. 
I centered to a wonderful family, enjoy the festive season below the topper. Then I took my two-piece topper set, I broke it into two pieces, I mounted the outside frame, then I put my inside up on some foam squares and offset it just a little bit to kind of give that some interesting dimension. And I put a little curly Q off my holly up here in the corner. I think that's a cute card. And it's pretty much sort of, other than the topper, it's sort of made out of leftovers. <laughs> and then this one's one I'm really excited about, guys. I love the way this one came out. This time, I took my European A6 card, and I covered it with this piece of cardstock right here. Then I took my topper and I mounted that on a piece of cards, on a piece of this emerald shimmer paper that was a little bit smaller than the space I had available in my card. And I put my greeting right below it. Then I took those block letters for Merry Christmas and I spelled out with the centerpieces Merry Merry and then I used the block letters themselves with the centers punched out to spell Christmas. But note the way that on that red and white striped background, these look like candy cane letters. I love the way this turned out and how fun. These letters are really nice size. These Merry Christmas letters are really nice size for cards. And again, this is just demonstrating using those block letters to spell out the word Christmas. In this case, in a very charming way, because you kind of get that candy cane look. But I thought that was great fun. We got five cards from that set. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing how you can use your cutting dies to add a whole new dimension to your card making. We got 41 cards from the Winter Warmers set from a set that Hunky Dory said would make at least 20. We used a variety of card shapes and techniques and uh, I think we ended up with some really stunning and fun cards from this set. If you'd like to have links to the dies that we talked about in here, as well as to the kit and the other materials that we use, be sure to sign up for our newsletter. You can find our newsletter link right below this video down in the comments section. And if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. To do so, just hit that thumbs up button. YouTube will let you know when there's a new video out there. and. I'll follow up with sending you a newsletter with a link to the video and all the supplies that we used. Um, if you enjoy this video, please give us the thumbs up. That's my attaboy to tell me that this is working for you and that you're enjoying what you're seeing in our videos. I'm Debbie from Simply Special Crafts, and we'll see you next time.